Somebody just rightly asked me, where is Reverend Chris? So he is not here today. He is preaching and leading worship at, uh, at another church. So good morning. He'll be, here next, He'll be here next week. Yeah. Good morning, friends. How are you today? Are we good? So I have a question. I have a really important question for you today, okay? And actually, this is a question I want you to close your eyes and to think about it, and don't give the answer just yet with your voices, but just think about it with your minds, okay? Are you ready to close your eyes? Okay, let's close them really tight. I want you to think about all of the times you've used water this weekend. What are all of the different ways that you have used water? All right, open your eyes. Catalina. A lot of days, yeah. What about you, Ella? To drink water? Yeah, what about you? Almost every day. Almost every day we use it, absolutely. Right there. You put water in what? In the pool, absolutely. We swim in water. Yeah, what else do we do with water, John? We drink it. We do drink it, that's right. Um, we use water to clean things. We do, yeah. Wash our hands, absolutely. We use it to wash our hands. Yes, Hattie, last one. It's in lakes and rivers, absolutely. We swim in it, we use our hands, we wash, we wash our hands with it, it is in the ocean. We brush our teeth with it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, hey Flynn, can you tell me what's in here? Water. Water, there is water in the font. So we use water during baptisms, and we're about I, to baptize two had, never, babies. We're about to baptize two babies, and we use water because God wants us to remember every time we use water, our baptisms. God wants us to remember, oh yeah, I was baptized. I was welcomed into this big old family, right? This big messy family, <laughs> this big loving family, and I am God's beloved. So that means every time we swim, right, or brush our teeth, or even every time we flush the toilet, we can think, I am God's beloved, <laughs> right? <laughs> I was baptized. Isn't that great? I have no baptism. I never had gotten you baptism. Didn't. I have no baptism. You didn't. Okay. And I'm not part of a church. Okay. One thing. Well, I never gotten baptism. My mom did not baptism me with I'm glad. All right. Well, Flynn and friends, you know what we're going to do right now? We're not going to move our bodies, but with our eyes, we're going to turn them towards the font, and we're going to baptize these babies, okay? Well, not me. Okay. <laughs> friends, the sacrament of baptism is a celebration for the whole church as we welcome to the family God's children and claim the promise of our faith that we belong to God. Hear these words of Holy Scripture. There is one body and one spirit just as you were called to the one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. In baptism by water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, the body of Christ, and joined to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. Let us remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate the sacrament. Parents, entrusting our children to the grace and providence of God is one of the boldest decisions that we can make and the most faithful. 
I invite you now to show your purpose by answering these questions. Do you desire that your child be baptized? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to your child? Do you? Do we, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ and representative of Second Presbyterian Church, promise to guide and nurture these children by word and deed, with love and prayer, encouraging them to know and follow Christ and to be faithful members of their church? Do we? Let us pray. We thank you, O oh God, for the water of baptism. We praise you that you have given us such gracious promises concerning our children, that in mercy you call them to you, marking them with this sacrament as a sign of your love. O oh God, set apart this water now from a common to a sacred use, as in humble faith, we present these children to you. We ask that you receive them, fill them with the Holy Spirit, and keep them as your own. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Emma and Wilson present their son for the sacrament of baptism. What is the Christian name of this child? Archer Ross, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Archer, you are sealed in your baptism by the Holy Spirit and you belong to Jesus Christ forever. Archer, for you, Jesus came into the world. For you, Jesus lived and showed God's love. For you, <laughs> for you, Jesus suffered death on Calvary and conquered death. For you, he rose in newness of life and ascended to sit and reign at the right hand of God. All this for you, though you do not know it yet. And so the promise of scripture is fulfilled. We love because God first loved us. Amen. Courtney and Kevin present their son for the sacrament of baptism. What is the Christian name of this child? Jackson Paul, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Child, you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism, and you belong to Jesus Christ forever and ever. For you, little one, Jesus came into the world and lived and showed us God's love. For you, Jesus suffered the darkness of Gethsemane and died on the cross. <sighs> Crying at last, it is accomplished. 
And for you, Jesus was risen from the dead to newness of life. For you, Jesus reigns at the right hand of God the Father. And for you, Jesus will come again. And so the scripture is fulfilled. We love because God first loved us. Amen. On behalf of the children of the church, I present these Bibles to these children, that they may grow in God's grace. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you that in baptism you have claimed us as your own. We pray that through us and all your church, you will hold these children in your love. Guide them as they grow in faith, that they might one day confirm the promises that we have made on their behalf, confessing their own faith in Jesus Christ and living lives of faithful discipleship. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. amen.